So you just brought home your first pet guinea pig. Perhaps it's now just dawning on you that you don't really know what you're going to need in terms of guinea pig supplies. Huh? Uh, we're going to try and make that acquisition of your newest family member go just as smoothly as possible. Here's some of the things you're going to need. First thing is a guinea pig cage. Uh, it's going to be your first and probably your largest purchase. Cages provided by pet stores are usually too small for a full-grown KB or guinea pig. Most rescue organizations recommend uh, that for one guinea pig you have at least six to seven square feet, two guinea pigs about seven and a half square feet, three about ten and a half square feet, and four guinea pigs about thirteen square feet. So pretty much if you bought one of those small cages when you bought your guinea pig, your pig is going to outgrow that in a few months and you're going to have to get a larger one. Uh, cages this large are really hard to find in pet stores. CNC cages, uh, also called cubes and chloroplast cages, have become extremely popular over the past few years because they allow you to get a, a really big big cage at, uh, at reasonable prices. You can get a lot of cage for the money. Um, a lot of these are uh, homemade. You can just go online and find directions how to do it. You can also uh, purchase them online in kit form. A good place to go is Bluestone Commerce or Bluestone Cages. Uh, another thing you're going to need is some bedding recommend paper bedding. Uh, guinea pigs tend to be susceptible to respiratory problems so strictly avoid things like uh, clay kitty litter or pine shavings because they throw a lot of dust into the air and then when they inhale it they get respiratory problems. So in other woods like cedar contain a lot of tree oils and that's not good for your guinea pigs health so you want to avoid those as well. Uh, a good thing to use like I said before is paper bedding. Uh, often this is made from recycled newspaper and it's uh, highly recommended. Uh, another thing that's become uh, popular lately is just coating the bottom of your cage with fleece. Put some kind of absorbent material like a towel or maybe a puppy pad, something like that, and put a layer of fleece over it. And the liquid will, will wick right through that fleece and be absorbed by that lower layer. Uh, another acquisition is going to be a water bottle. You're going to need a water bottle that attaches to the sides of your cage. Uh, you don't want to use a water dish. People, uh, Guinea pigs like to step on or step in their dishes, one or the other, and they like to flip them over. So uh, just stay away from that and use a water bottle. About 10 to 16 ounces is good. You don't want to go too large or the water is going to get stale if you leave it in there. But either way, no matter what size you get, you want to try and change that water every day so it doesn't get stale. It stays fresh. Uh, you're going to want to get a feeder. Or a food dish. A feeder is is a box full of food that's that attaches to the side uh, of the cage, uh, so it doesn't tip over. Uh, you can use either that or a bowl. If you get a bowl, you're going to need a heavy, stable bowl so that it doesn't tip. Again, when your guinea pig decides to stand on it, you don't want them flipping it over. Uh, another item that some people tend to overlook is a hay rack. It's just a rack that hangs on the side of the the cage, and you can put uh, something like Timothy hay in it so that your pig has access to it all day long because hay is really good for guinea pigs. Uh, if you're using a CNC cage you may be able to find a, uh, a model with a built-in hay shelter which is kind of a, a horizontal rack that you put hay on it and your pig can sit underneath it and just reach up and nibble just as if he was uh, underneath a bush out in the wild. In terms of food and hay you're going to need you're going to want to get food that's a grass based, grass hay based food, like a Timothy hay based food. Uh, Timothy hay is great, a great choice, contains both high quality nutrition for your pig and those long strand fibers are good for their guinea pig digestion. You want to avoid alfalfa hay, it's got uh, far too much pro uh, protein in it. Alfalfa hay is not a grass hay, it's actually a legume hay and it's got a lot of uh, not only protein but calcium too much. It's good for, for very young pigs that are still growing or for pregnant pigs. But for the normal pig you want to avoid alfalfa and uh, you want to avoid alfalfa food. And uh, Many of the guinea pig pellets have alfalfa in it so read the, direct, the ingredients uh, carefully and try and avoid that alfalfa. So guinea pigs are great. They're a delight and a great addition to any family but like any pet they're also an additional responsibility. So to ensure that they live a happy, healthy, and comfortable life, you want to provide uh, safe and comfortable living quarters, uh, a, a water bottle with plenty of good, fresh drinking water, and quality, nutritious food. And most of that's going to be a grass hay based, something like Timothy hay. So for a lot more guinea pig information, visit our website at PetGuineaPigSupplies.com.